Where's my money, bitch? I said I'd get it, man. I promise. Told you I'd bust you up. But, but, it's coming. The check's in the mail. Well, you did this to yourself. No, 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 wait! No! What's going on? Hope you're having a good 4th of July. Let us uh, never forget that it's our brilliant, genius forefathers and those that fought to defend it that made this country as amazing as it is and the best country in the world. So, happy 4th of July. Happy uh, Freedom from the Redcoats Day. <laughs> Cheers. So you may be wondering why the hell I'm beating the shit out of a damn light beam and uh, kind of just for fun really but there, there is some meaning to all of this if I can figure out how to get this stupid thing apart now <laughs> it's all bent <laughs> so light beams are kind of weird in the sense that as far as ubiquity radios go anyway this is the radio the, the horn itself the feed horn is the entire radio the dish part doesn't it's just a little reflector dish that's it the radio itself and everything that matters is in this part and I always kind of wondered what the hell's in there so Let's find out. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, <laughs> I've kind of broke it. <laughs> Aha, there we go. So this is the entire radio. And I'm curious, what the hell's in this? So let's see if we can find out. Because this part is just reflector, obviously. It doesn't do anything. This part here, it just holds this and has your little bubble level and stuff on it, which is kind of clever, but we don't care about that either. This part, um, I'm not real sure. Obviously, they don't make this so you can take it apart. Oh, and why am I destroying this one? Uh, it doesn't work. It, it died. I don't know why. Uh, God, probably almost a year ago now. It's just been sitting around my house. I saw it and I was like, I wonder what's in that. Even if you reset it, <laughs> it still wouldn't do anything. It wouldn't turn on. It wouldn't boot. It wouldn't do anything. So it was just, it was dead. So we're going to sacrifice it for science. All right. We're going to see if we can, because there's a seam on this. I'm thinking maybe if I twist this, I mean, obviously it doesn't have to be put back together, but at least maybe we can see what the hell's going on inside. Some of you were probably like, I already know what's in there. Well, I don't, so... Maybe I can just crush it. Uh, nope. <laughs> Don't make me get out the Dremel. Because I'll do it. That is very, very on there. So, I think it's Dremel time. <laughs> is it safe? Yes, it's safe. It's very safe. It's so safe you wouldn't believe it. Is it safe? No, it's not safe. It's very dangerous. Be careful. <laughs> Throwing plastic shit all over the camera. Is it safe? Look, I tell you. Oh, like butter. All right. There we go. And then let's just come on. Really? Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't know exactly. Uh, oh, I can kind of see in there. My stupid camera would focus. There we go. You can kind of see in there. It looks like there's stuff actually attached to this. Hmm. So that's uh, a couple spots where I didn't cut it all the way, but there's no way it's holding it that tight. That little tiny bit. Let's do some more cutting. <laughs> okay. So let me grab something else real quick. Hold on. Let's see if we can... Come on, open up. Show me your goodies. Urgh. Hey. There we go. 
<laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so I went in the house because it's a hundred and something outside and humid and just generally miserable. I don't have to be out there, so I'm going to go back in the damn house. So I ended up prying off. This was on here like this. And I stuck a screwdriver in here and popped it off. Apparently that tiny little bit that I didn't cut with the Dremel, apparently it was holding it on there. Um, not well, but a bit. So that went flying. And along with it, a little circuit board did, <laughs> which is actually kind of cool. Has a little heat sink on it. it says uh, it says ubiquity on the back. <laughs> I really hope my camera's focusing. This thing, I think it's about dead. A little Osmo Pocket is like kind of doesn't like to focus anymore. <laughs> uh, let me change cameras. Hold on. Okay, much better camera. So this is what was in that, and it's kind of interesting. Um, has a ubiquity logo on it, which is you know. Of course it does, made by Ubiquity. <laughs> but let's see if we can identify some of these chips and stuff on here, shall we? I'm kind of curious. So I did some digging around and I actually found out what some of the stuff is on this thing. Um, these are obviously where you plug a antenna in, but I didn't see any wires in the thing. So I don't know if they went flying or, or if these are just on the board for something else, but how it actually connects to anything, I don't really know. Uh, there's some other little, like, pluggy things over here too, but I didn't see anything plugged into anything. So not real sure what's up with that. The next part, I found out what this little bastard is right here, this little black chip. It's actually a wireless controller. It is a, let me read it to you. Five gigahertz WLAN standards application. Uh, it supports IEEE 802.11a and AC applications. Um, Three volt, five volt power, same blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so this is your, your little Wi-Fi controller, the little itty bitty thing right here. This one right here is your storage. It's a little flash storage chip. Uh, the whatever is 134,217,728 bit serial flash memory. <laughs> Very specific, right? And then if we flip it over, uh, which one is it? This wind bond one right here is the uh, memory. It's 512 megs of DDR2800. So you have your, your uh, memory. Over here you have your storage and you have your um, wireless controller. Uh, the CPU is most likely under this, which I think we're gonna have to just take a look at, aren't we? <laughs> Stand by. So if you look under here, there's actually two chips one on each side, it looks like. It looks like they're actually in their caddy corner. Like, not straight up and down, but at an angle. And there's two of them, it looks like. So, I think this is plastic, but it's glued on, on both sides. Like, epoxied. So, I'm thinking what I can do is just snip, snip. Snip, snip, motherfucker. And hopefully this isn't glued on. Whoop, nope, it's not. <laughs> so, that's the, the little heat sink. And we got two chips, like I thought, kind of staggered, with thermal pads on them. Ew. And let's see what these are. If I can get all the schmoo off. Okay, let me go clean this off a bit so we can read it. Yep, and as expected, under the heat sink we have an Atheros chip and a Ubiquity branded chip, which is kind of interesting. Uh, why there's two, I don't really know. And like what that other little tiny chip is doing. So there's like three wireless controller type, well maybe even four if this is the same as the other one. I can't read it, that shit's so freaking tiny. I, it looks the same. So it looks like there's, uh, they're in pairs. Um, why? I don't know, maybe because it's dual band? I don't know. It's kind of interesting, but yeah, there's another little um, plug type thing. There's three of them. There wasn't anything plugged into any of them, I don't think. So I can't figure out what the hell this big ass chip is, though. If anyone can figure out what that is, uh, put it in the comments. Just out of sheer curiosity, because I even did some Googling and stuff, and nobody online even knows what it is. It's one of those mysteries. I know so very little about electronics and stuff. Uh, there are people in this industry that know a lot about this kind of stuff. 
Check out Miss Fixit's channel. I'll put a link in the description. She she does this kind of stuff all the time, usually with booze involved. Uh, cheers. <laughs> so that's what's in the uh, light beam. Bit more complicated than I expected. There's actually a lot of little tiny ass components and stuff on this. More than I even expected. So I don't know. Kind of neat. I'll put links in the description to all the high-res pictures if you want to check it out. If there's anything you'd like to see torn down, let me know. I actually really like doing this kind of stuff. Uh, preferably, I like to be able to put it back together, but these are the way that these are made, there's no way. Um, well, not and have it work well anyway. Maybe it could go back together if I didn't hack it up. I don't know, now that I think about it. Hindsight's 2020. <laughs> anyway, yeah, if there's anything you'd like to see torn down, let me know. Put it down in the, uh, the doobly-doo. And uh, be sure to like, share, and sub, and all that happy nonsense. And until next time, later.